The Remainers are trying to rewrite history. They claim UKIP should feel guilty over Brexit. Rubbish. Nigel Farage and UKIP are the one group who can and should feel no guilt. UKIP, led by the political genius of Nigel, simply said what it wanted, set out to do it and succeeded. Nigel said he would work for a referendum. This was the goal. Despite the absurd first-past-the-post system, meaning you could get millions of votes but no Westminster representation, Nigel turned UKIP into a potent electoral force. Cameron wanted those voters, so he promised a referendum, whilst privately believing he would never have to deliver. The voters then delivered to him, so he had to deliver on his promise. That is how the system worked. Cameron and Osborne proposed and Parliament legislated. A Parliament where UKIP has no presence and cannot be blamed for the actions of others. If any one person is responsible, it is Cameron. Worse, having done all he did and promised to stay if he lost, he promptly did a runner. The following day, glib and careless to the last, Cameron was gone. Nigel and UKIP, by contrast, always did what it said on the tin and helped win the referendum for leave against most of the political class, the Mandarin elite, threats by a US president and the rigging of the system in favour of Remain. Remember that infamous government leaflet at taxpayers' expense? Threats of instant economic catastrophe and Osborne's austerity budget? We've been clear and honest all the way through. Do not attack UKIP for achieving the impossible against all the odds. Actually, it should be described as one of the most honest and successful political parties anywhere, ever, in terms of the objectives it set itself. UKIP has never been in government or anywhere near it. It has scarcely been represented in Westminster, in either Lords or Commons, and has no role in the negotiations. That is the role of May and requires a government competent in negotiation, not one led by a lukewarm Remainer whose heart is not in it and most of whose ministerial colleagues feel the same. Their inability to negotiate is not Nigel or UKIP's fault. Blame Cameron and Osborne, who refused to allow work on an exit plan. Unbelievably, we still do not really have one. As a result, we may be working towards Rhino, Brexit in name only. This is absolutely the worst of all possible outcomes. The UK will be subject to the whole canon of EU law and the judgments of the ECJ whilst losing the voice and the little influence that it has. That is what the EU wants and is threatening to get in March next year. Such an outcome, were it to happen, would be a disaster a deliberate punishment inflicted by the Remainer political class and Mandarins upon the British people by having the temerity to defy their betters and vote leave. It would also be an act of deliberate spite by the UK Remainers and a Tory party betrayal of its word, its manifesto and its promises. The solution? Brexiteers must come together put our differences aside and focus on securing a peaceful withdrawal from the EU. We must not waste this historic opportunity to regain freedom and deliver a prosperous, happy and peaceful nation.